Hi, my name is Paul and this is Alex. Alex is 15 years old and um, I want to show you Alex's feet. Um, he does have a little trouble um, with this bunion, especially when he plays soccer. And um, so I just want to talk to you about you know, some biomechanical stuff that we commonly see with these types of things. Um, so number one, we can, we can pretty much always associate the bunion with increased hallux valgus, where the toe is being pushed inward. So he kind of likes to wear his cleats a little bit tighter, which can contribute to that. But the bigger factor here is that he has a very, very tight calf muscle. Okay, so if I pull him into full extension and I dorsiflex him, I can barely get him to neutral. All right? So here's where the problem lies. In order to dorsiflex appropriately when he's running, if he can't get his ankle motion because of the tight calf, he is going to pronate the foot and rotate out and dissipate force through the metatarsal, the distal first metatarsal, and the medial side of the toe. And as you see right here, he has some great callus pattern. He's had some blistering uh, and callus on the medial side of the toe. That's always classic with people with a tight calf and a pes planus foot. All right, so um, what we want to do with him in order to help minimize the amount of, you know, exostosis that's being built up on the medial side of this toe, we want to improve his dorsiflexion so the toe extends well this way and doesn't adduct too much. So he's not putting pressure off here, he's pushing, putting pressure here which is anatomically what we're supposed to be doing. Um, I'm just curious, I haven't even tested this yet, but we're gonna do a functional squat with him and see how he does. So I'd like you to stand right here, Alex, face the camera. And what I want you to do is, I want you to keep your feet just like this, and I want you to squat down like that as far as you can go. Okay, see how he wanted to fall back? Okay, and a big part of that is because he has a lot of tightness in his calf muscles. So let's see if you can go down a little bit further without falling back. Okay, how far can you go down? So notice his toes, he still wanted to fall back again. Notice his toes want to turn out as he does that. Um, and so you can see where he's putting an excessive amount of pressure here. So we're going to stretch the heck out of his calves. We may put him into an orthotic also to support his arch so his big toe rides straight ahead. Thanks.